budget friends i'm headed out for my weekly errand day i've got to pick up groceries for the grub shack groceries for the house i'm gonna try to get the menu planning up today when i get home i did do a short video of how nasty my kids have got my pantry my refrigerator my freezer so if I get time when I get home, I'll give them a quick wipe down and show you my grocery haul and get uh, get a menu plan going for next week. I never did get it up for this week. We've just grabbed whatever was convenient in the fridge that was easy to fix. Life's been so busy. Uh, I got online and looked this morning and we found some new subscribers. I'm so happy and welcome, welcome to those of you that have just subscribed and to those that have been with me for a while thank you so so very much i'm trying really hard to grow my little channel uh, my goal i think i've told you guys is to try to be at a thousand subscribers by the end of the year which you know that would be great uh that's a little bit faster than what the research i've done shows it shows about 15 months but I think we can do it. I, I think we can, and if we can't, we'll reevaluate our goals. That's what we have to do. You have to learn to reevaluate your goals as you go along if you don't meet them. You don't give up on them. You reevaluate them and you keep going. Speaking of goals, I have had to dig into my uh, binders a wee bit for hubby. done quite a bit of spending for the campground and I don't know if I've told you all or not the campground is fairly new we started it I believe last July so everything the campground makes goes back into the campground plus more because we are still doing upgrades we've started this from scratch we've tried our best not to go in debt with it we have went in debt for a few things for it but the campground does pay those bills we don't pay them out of our our finances but where it comes into play with our finances is that when he does want to do an upgrade like we just bought two new culverts or drain pipes whatever you want to call them then instead of taking it from campground money we we do the property upgrades out of our money so i did have to dig into my binders but he is going to pay me back so you might see that in next week's videos where it says hubby owes me money <laughs> But that's just a little update on what's been going on there. Uh, tomorrow is our big Easter. We, I called it uh, the first annual bunny hop at the campground. And it's for all the children. Uh, it doesn't cost them anything. We're going to have prize eggs and prizes and candied eggs. And we're going to have an egg coloring station for all the kiddos. Because you know how it is in uh, poor communities. We're, we're in a very rural poor community. And some little children, that I've, I've met little children that have never experienced coloring eggs. Uh, so we're going to have an egg coloring station set up. I'm going out today to pick up the egg coloring. Um, I'm also wanting to set up a craft craft station for them. I bought some bunnies and sheep and uh, something else, maybe chicks, for them to, it was at the Dollar Tree, you all saw it in my Dollar Tree haul, for them to just glue on and make little decorative things to take home with them. So, we've got that going on today. Uh, yesterday, we did get Hubby's paperwork turned in for his election. He's running for the Board of Education in our little county. So we got all his paperwork turned in. I am still working on getting my taxes filed. I was hoping to get that done today, but it's hard to track Hubby down and get him to sit down with me and work on that stuff for the campground. Our personal taxes are ready to go, but we're gonna file where he's an LLC. We're gonna file all of it as a, a group filing or the one time. We're gonna go get it done at one time. So I've got our personal taxes ready to go. We're still working on the campground taxes. Uh, hopefully Monday we will get down there and get that done. And then after Monday, hopefully my life will slow down a little bit, you guys. Uh, I think this is the first even drive with me video I've had time to make in a while. So uh, I have been out running around, but I've been with Happy. Ooh, there's a pretty pretty doggy over there. Squirrel, <laughs> squirrel. Um, I've been out with Hubby. We've been doing some politicking and some campgrounding and stuff like that and getting, getting things done with him. 
I think he's really been trying to keep me out of the house. So. I won't overdo myself from my surgery. He's still wanting me to rest. He's afraid I'll overdo it and go back into AFib. So I think he's been keeping me on a short leash over that because uh, he knows how I am. I, I'll get into something and I don't know I don't know when to quit. So I haven't had time to get into anything that I want to do. He's kept me sitting in a car running here and there. But anyways, I just want to get on here and talk to you guys just a little bit. Hopefully you all enjoy these little chit chat videos. Uh, seem to, I mean, people seem to watch them. I'm still learning the YouTube life. I'm enjoying it so very much. And I hope you guys are getting something from my channel, which is what I, I hope for and strive for. As I've said before, I really, really want to share what little bit of knowledge, I, I mean, I think it's a lot, good bit of knowledge. Other people, you know, learn these knowledges early in life, bless their hearts, because they have people to teach them. But growing up, I didn't have anyone to teach me things like that, like this, this type of deal. There wasn't no internet or anything around with my grandmother, you know. Um, she she done the best she could with me and taught me she was a teacher but all this new internet stuff she didn't she didn't ever experience that uh, but I've learned so much by just watching you guys on these uh, YouTube channels anything I want to know I'll get on YouTube and I learn it and I, my hope and dream is to be able to help others in some small way and to give them the knowledge this 40, 54 year old woman has accumulated um, that that's what I want to do that's uh, and, and I enjoy it so it's a great little hobby of mine that I enjoy doing and I think a person needs to get up every day in their life and do something they enjoy I've said that many times to my friends if you can get up every day with a smile on your face and get to do some type of thing you enjoy that's a good day and we don't know how many days we got left you guys you got to count every blessing um, I, I strive to do that every day. I strive every day to do something I enjoy, even if it's just a little bit. And I enjoy making these videos, and I enjoy budgeting, and all, all the stuff that goes with it. I also enjoy organizing, and my poor house is suffering here lately, because I haven't had time to do none of that. But hopefully after, I keep, I know you all keep hearing me say this organizing thing, and you never see it, but girls I swear and guys uh, my life has just been so busy I haven't had time and when we we do get a start you will see that my house needs it I mean I think it looks pretty good for having six teenage boys live in but when you see this um, pantry and refrigerator you'll see what I'm talking about because them things are messy them boys they don't know what wipe wipe something up is when you spill it so we're we're gonna have a, a come to jesus meeting this evening on on cleaning up the house uh when they get home from school and a couple other things i've found while i was out to, or running around the house making a few little clips here and there to show you all when i get time to upload the whole thing and edit it but i'll, I'll be cracking that whip on them uh, so they do get allowances. I don't talk about my boys a lot, and it's because when I had them in foster care, you weren't allowed to. You weren't allowed to show pictures of them. You weren't allowed to um, turn my heat up a little bit. You weren't allowed to, you know, share any information at all with them. That's one of the foster care rules. But now that they are mine, I can do that, but I just got to get used to doing that. I'm still, you know, I did foster care for almost 25 years or right at 25 years. So I'm still on foster care brain because I just got them all adopted right at Christmas. So uh, the adoptive brain, mama brain hasn't kicked in yet real good. So I forget that I can share things, but uh, they do get allowances. They got them prior to adoption. They still get them now. The only difference is when they were in foster care and got allowances they had to get their allowance now in order to get their allowance they're going to work for it uh, I'm not going to put it in a savings account if they don't do what they're supposed to do they're just not going to get it I'm going to pay some bills with it so uh, they better be a working and doing them chores uh, they've got a they've got to switch over from uh, foster care brain to adoptive brain too and realize that mama ain't going to dish, dish it out like she did 
in foster care, they're gonna have to actually do their chores to get it. Now I've got, I've got two boys that they do really good, and them other four, they can use a lot of work. <laughs> so that's a little bit on the home life front. We are supposed to go to uh, Tennessee next, uh, this next Sunday Easter. We're supposed to leave out for Tennessee on Easter. I've got a campground book down there. And we have uh, season passes to Dollywood. So we'll see how many boys I'll be taking with me. The ones that's in trouble may just be going to a babysitter. I don't know, because we've got several trips planned this year. So maybe they'll straighten them up for the next trip. Uh, but I guess I better get off here. And I notice another thing. I say, uh, a lot in my videos. I need to, I need to start watching the uhs. Uh, I've watched some of these other ladies and they, you know, I'm country. I, I'm, I'm country and I can't help being country. I've lived in the country all my life. So I have a twang or an accent or whatever you want to call it. And some of these other ladies, they speak really properly. And I'm thinking, I don't know, maybe you girls like that better I I can't help it though so I'm gonna try to cut down on the us and uh, watch watch what I do a little bit more but just let me know in the comments things that you think that I can improve on because I really do take it to heart I won't be offended uh, I re there I went again there went the up I really I really appreciate input so I can better my channel but anyway, I see we're up to like going on 12 minutes. So I'll be getting cell phone signal soon. And I want to call my best friend. I was supposed to get to go out with all my best friends yesterday. And life just got in our way. And we had to cancel again. It seems so hard to get to go out with those ladies. And I love them so much. But hopefully maybe next week we can get out. And if so, I'm gonna see if they'll let me do some little clips and recordings of them. And so you'll get to meet the girls like I showed you little pictures of my grandbabies. I, I enjoy seeing that from other people. I enjoy seeing real life, even though it's a budget and mostly channel. I, I don't just like looking at hands. I like seeing faces and putting faces with names and um, families with the people. I really enjoy that. So hopefully you guys enjoy it too. But I'll get off here, and as always, I appreciate you so much. God bless you, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. If it is content, I mean, I'm not telling you to do it, but if it's content you enjoy, I really appreciate it, and it helps my channel grow. So I will let you guys go for now. Bye-bye.